in true essence of keeping it real, I'm standing in my bedroom door. I, I said on Instagram I had no intentions on doing no candle reviews this weekend. I had no reviews lined up. I lit this particular candle last night. Last night on my blank console table right here. And it had my room so full of the scent. I'm like, you put you on the open concept and let me see what you do. Well, 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 if y'all follow me on IG and y'all see me saying, I know this girl ain't throwing and I'm all the way back here in my room. Let's go talk about her. Y'all think I am joking, ladies and gentlemen. Exhibit A, sugar, mandarin, and cedar from Huntington Homes. When I went to Aldi the other day, these were marked down to $7.49. I think originally they were $14.99. They are the nest dupes in the large jar. And y'all see where I walk from and what is going on with the candle. Now, the wicks are a little thinner, so I need to straighten them out. But other than that, four hours, she did melt. She did hit a full melt pool. It's a little dirty because this is my third burn. The wicks, I didn't want to trim because they were already short, but they still throw in. Y'all, keeping it all the way real. This is on my bling table going, and that candle is coming back here, wafting over this scent. So why I came back here to grab my wick dipper so I can scrape in the wicks, guess what? Th these are my feet. These are my shoes. I've been home an two hours, about two hours, I'm about to put these back on and go to the store because I'm going to get the rest. Yeah, I got these from my friend Mel. Mel, these are your candle holders down here. I got to ship these off to you. But y'all, it's a very citrusy that represents the mandarin. The cedar is fair. It's the perfect blend of like masculine, but a little bit. So I, what I'm thinking is these are holiday scented candles, y'all. And just production, you know, production issues all over. They were delayed coming to the store because those same holders, those some pedestals that I'm sending to Mel, y'all know Mel love her some Aldi's and her store didn't get them. I didn't think my store was going to get them last week on release day, but they already came in marked down because they're late. So nonetheless, I'm going to ship her her too. Now, they also have the candle dipper kits there. It comes with the dipper, the snuffer, the trimmer. Uh, when this had a full mail pool, y'all, it's real easy to go in and take out your larger uh, black flex, you know, to clean up your candle that... That's, that's not like rocket science. So these are here floating around. Don't bother me. But this mandarin and that cedar that's in this candle, I can't help but to think it's giving me very holiday, but yet I don't mind it in the spring. But the cedar that's coming from it is giving... Y'all, and that warmth I'm talking about, I'm sorry, I'm totally omitting the very aromatic patchouli note. If you into patchouli, if you know, you know it's you either hate it or you love it. In the fall and winter, Lord willing, knock on wood, I see fall, winter, I'm going to go ahead and get me prepared. Y'all, we coming right back, we going to the store. This is the joys of living across from an Aldi because this, we got to come back and talk about this. Y'all thought I was playing? No, no, and no. Look at this. Now this one right here, the eucalyptus, the cedar, and the spice. I definitely get all that, but it's coming across a little on the warmer, spicy, masculine vibe, which y'all know I like masculine vibe. But I think this right here, this would be amazing with a little bit of orange mixed behind it or a little bit of cranberry woods mixed behind it. I'm thinking I can't go wrong with getting one because I'm telling you, this is lit. So again, this one is very woodsy, which I don't mind. The spicy, I'm getting like some warm, like a cinnamon. I'm getting like some cardamom. I'm getting eucalyptus. Y'all, these had to be Christmas candles. That's just that on that. Because even if you run some spruce, some evergreen, 
behind this when them singles come out in tree farm because you know tree farm have like a peppermint vibe to go along with the spice in this yeah i'm gonna take one so this is the one that i left burning you got the patchouli you got the bergamot you got the orange you got this warm it's given the bergamot is given that citrus the patchouli is given that aromatic y'all this screams luxury i'm going to get another one of these so i'm going to have a total of well three because I, it's going to take me a while to finish that one. But I can also see this one in the holiday time. Again, run you some tree farm behind it. Run you some cranberry behind it. Fill your home with a luxurious vibe for the holidays. That's the vibe I'm trying to be on with my new furniture. So I'm going to grab these and head back to the house and finish this review. Well, should I even? There ain't really nothing to finish, y'all. Because it should lit. I'm back home and I know, I know, I know opening my front door is going to some milk. Amazing. Yes. It's right there on the table going. Mm-hmm. I'ma come back in a few days and close this out. It gonna probably be a while before we get a post burn on that because that is a big boy, but whew. yes. Okay, good morning. Day five of this candle. I'm back here. Y'all, it has the whole open area lit. Again, I've already told y'all that, but I want to get more into the patchouli essence of this candle. So at this point, my review is going to be more so based on performance. So y'all see how I went in there and cleaned it out? I had it lit for about an hour. And although the wicks are thinner, I did have to trim them, right? But it's still pooling out. They're not drowning. So that is a good thing. So again... This one is going to take a while to finish and check out that markdown pedestal came right on time. But that patchouli essence, I think with the mandarin, right? You got the mandarin, which is the orange that's giving it a real mellow tone. But then bergamot is a citrus as well. But remember, bergamot is your more masculine citrus, not just full on citrus. So between the orange and the freshness of the bergamot and the citrus and the patchouli, this is screaming fall, but y'all, I'm still burning it. This is about day five. I'm in love with it. And I, I am going to finish this candle off because coming home at night after work and striking this has just been doing my mood right. So I'm going to come to y'all with one more day, which is probably going to be like day six. So again, at this point, we're just focusing on the quality. And if it burns down and start not doing right, then I'll come back and report it. So, so far, it's worth the $7.49 if y'all ain't catch my drift on that. Hello to the night vision. And why am I so far away? Y'all, I'm behind the kitchen sink. And this candle is throwing all throughout this whole apartment. So, we like on day, well, night six of this candle. At this point, let's just say, does it capture the essence of nest? in a sense of the design concept of the jar, that is going to be an actual yes in the Nest large jar. Now we can't run this as a full on comparison to a Nest video because I don't know if Nest has a candle with these scent notes and so I don't have it to compare. But what I will say is the fragrance oils that's made in this larger candle is way better than the typical three wick that Aldi carry. Those give you your standard basic run of the mill wax and fragrance oil. This right here does not feel artificial at all. The orange is there. The essence of the patchouli is there. The bergamot is there, which again, bergamot is a citrus, but it's a more masculine citrus. And I don't think you can go wrong with this candle. You know, we love us a good bougie girl moment, a good bougie girl on a budget. And I'm totally here for this. And this video, it wasn't even supposed to be this long, y'all, but I'm, I'm loving it. Y'all get into that. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.